In this video, we will take a look at the sections separated by orange tabs in your language companion. The first section is called Canadian Language Benchmarks. The Canadian Language Benchmarks, also called the CLB, are used in Canada to describe English language proficiency. We will talk about this section in a different video, so we will skip it for now. The next section in your language companion is called My Canada. It has 35 pages with useful information on a variety of topics related to living in Canada. Take a look at the table of contents to see the topics that interest you. Each topic is one page long and includes key information about it. Let's look at page 27 as an example. This page is about post-secondary education in Canada. It includes key facts and details about universities and colleges. The Learn More box lists websites you can visit to get more information. You can use the My Canada section either in class or on your own to learn about Canada. The next section is called Where I Live. It can help you explore living in your province or city. Let's look at the table of contents. For each topic, you can add information about the services that are relevant to you. For example, on page 4, My Community, you are asked to research some information about your town or city and complete the chart and the opinion box. The next section is called Helpful English. Let's look at the table of contents. It has nine topics related to communication situations, for example, talking on the phone, looking for a job, or English for academic success. Each topic includes a few pages with sample language, grammar structures, or useful tips. Let's look at page 10, Giving Directions. It has tips for giving directions and listening to them, a list of helpful phrases, and tips for online research to learn more. You can refer to the Helpful English section in the classroom or on your own. You can also add your own materials to it. The next section, called My Notes, has no pages. It's empty because it's a place for you to collect your worksheets, notes, or handouts from your English classes. It's up to you what you keep here and how you organize this section. If it gets too big or you no longer need some of the pages in it, you can remove them. And finally, the last orange section tab is called My Portfolio. It is an important section of the Language Companion Binder. You will use it throughout your English course to collect your assessments. We will look at the Portfolio section in the next video.